The parking lots here opened up at 3.30, giving fans a head start to their holiday, holiday traditions. Take a look. We are dodging the storms for right now. I know a lot of people are happy about that. Plenty of food out here. I know fans are excited for a great game and some loud booms. Kaboom. The colors. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> These kids are excited for Monday night's show, and for good reason. Werner Park is setting up for its annual fireworks display. Oma Storm Chasers General Manager Marty Cordero says this year is expected to be the biggest yet. We change the music each year. Uh, there are different colors and different types of shells that we work with JM displays on, uh, but this year we're going to have shells as big as eight inches. Uh, and those shells haven't been shot for nearly a decade here in the metro area. The huge fireworks bringing in huge crowds. The park is expected to be filled to capacity with over 9,000 people, but 40,000 from surrounding communities are expected to watch the dazzling display from outside the stadium. I like the fact that it's any age, two years old to 92, uh, and everyone in between can enjoy the show. But fans at the ballpark can get even closer to the show. After our nine inning game, we will allow fans on the field so they'll be able to sit in the outfield. It's the only time uh, during the season that fans can come out and watch fireworks from the Warner Park outfield grass. And then, you know, right after that, we'll be shooting off the fireworks with the nearly 22 minute display. Hey, tickets are still available. If you want to come out and see the game or the fireworks, people are still showing up right now. Uh, first pitch is in about an hour. Reporting live at Warner Park, Alex Lisi, KTV News Watch 7. Oh.